Hey, what's going on guys? It's CDED here, and this is my dog's story. So yesterday was National Dog Day, and literally as I went to sleep, I literally thought, oh my god, why didn't I do a dog story video about my dog? Mwah! So this video is a day late, but I think it's really, really nice. I thought I'd just tell you a couple of things about my dog. So this is Daisy, and she's a Jack Russell Terrier, and we've had her pretty much since she was close to a pup. She was probably about, I think, four when we got her, and she's now about 17 to 18. We got Daisy from a uh, dog home. They just found her apparently just walking around um, Stoke just walking around on her own, doing absolutely nothing. We don't know if she was in a state of, you know, hunger or anything like that, or if she had anything to eat that day, or if she had any owners before that. We just, they don't know anything about her. They literally just found her and they caught her. And my mum went and apparently she saw her and she literally just fell in love with her. Daisy is very much my best friend. She literally is. I love her pretty much more than anything. Um, I think she's one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me because I'm a huge um, animal dog person. I have a very deep connection with animals, specifically dogs. I know that comes across like really, really stupid and, you know, camp or whatever, but I, I really don't care. It's, I'm very, very, very emotionally into, into animals. I think they're beautiful creatures and we really, really should respect them. Daisy is definitely not what we call a stereotypical dog. She um, she hates water. She does not play with balls or toys or anything. She's never had anything, and she she's very much um, a lazy dog. She, but 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 not because she'll have random moments of pure energy. She'll she'll sleep all day and then she'll go she'll go nuts for randomly. I would describe Daisy very much as right now is she's an old lady. She's got she's got a lot of character to her. She's very posh, and it's that kind of interesting um, faces that she gives when you talk to her. She really does kind of listen to you. She 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 thinks she's nuts when you're talking to her. Uh, but yeah, when you when you talk to her, she she. But yeah, I really do believe that dogs can understand us. Well, we, we, we know that they can to a degree. Of course, you know, dogs are trained to understand us. But I really believe that Daisy is smarter than she lets on because we, we have a lot of nicknames for her and one of them is Dumb Dog because she's not the smartest um, tool in the box. But um, when she when you talk to her, she uh, she looks like she understands. She gives the, the face of yes and no and, you know, whatever. A lot of times it's just, oh, leave me alone. Um, she very much misses me when I go to university because um, my parents are at work all day. So when I come back, you get me uh, all day, don't you? So you pretty much, she pretty much follows me um, because in the family, the hierarchy of how much she loves goes down. It kind of goes from mum to me to Sam to dad, and she just kind of follows um, because she doesn't like being alone. She never did when she was pup when we first got her. Uh, she used to hate being alone. Daisy also currently sleeps uh, in in our bed. She she always has slept with us. When we first got her, uh, we did have a kind of cage that she slept in in the uh, kitchen. And I remember the first couple of nights, her just she barked and barked and barked. She hates being alone. She always has. She still does. And so eventually, we literally caved in and she slept upstairs with us. But luckily, she's not an angry dog or a taking up space if you move her she'll move um, and it's funny because when you moved her she'll kind of give you the, the kind of face. Oh, fine you know and so she's got loads and loads of personality loads of character and I love her more than absolutely anything she always used to sleep in uh, my room when uh, I was here but now currently obviously when I'm away she sleeps in my dad's bedroom and since she's now got older she used to be able to jump on the bed by herself. Now this bed isn't massively big, it's kind of your average bed length, um, bed, bed length, bed height, um, and she can't really jump on much anymore, she has to get us to help, um, which is why actually I create my own old steps for her so she can step up, but she still needs to figure them out, because she's not the, you know, the smartest dog, are you? 
Uh, but because of that, now she uh, tends to sleep in a basket in mom and dad's bedroom, and it kind of works really, really well. You really enjoy it, but when I'm here, you tend to come back to me. Uh, but Daisy's a very, very relaxed dog. She will sit on your knee for hours just sleeping because she's kind of a lazy dog. And she is old, but she's not like massively old. She's not getting on. She's gone grey. Her face, obviously, um, as Jack Russell's, they tend to be a bit brown. You probably can't see on the camera very brown, but um, she's not very brown anymore, but she used to be, very much used to be very, very brown. Um, if we look at all old pictures of her, she uh, she was brown, quite on the face, and she's got a black spot, so then white. Uh, Daisy also has quite a few nicknames around the house, um, just over time when we were, when we were little and when we were children, um, we just give her them. Uh, but there's there's Daisy, there's Daisy Do, Daisy Poo. Uh, I don't know where that came from. I think that's just when we talked to them and say Daisy Do, Daisy Poo. Uh, Little Minx, Little Cherub, uh, Tart because she does she does that thing where um, she 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 goes on her belly and she rubs her belly on the floor and then uses her front paws to carry herself. And we used to think she just looks like a tart, like a prostitute. <laughs> Yeah, she just she just looks really funny, and so we just said, "Stop being a tart, you tart." So she's tart. Uh, uh, yeah, dumb dog, like we said, because she's she's not the smartest. Bless her. That comes uh, that comes pretty much clear. Pooch is one, just pooch. It just kind of was it, pooch. Yeah, that, that tends to be how we greet her. Actually, is is hey up, pooch. Hey up, pooch. Must be a northern thing, I suppose. Hey up, hey up, hey up, pooch. Nosy is a big one because she always literally gets her nose in in everything. When um, you open a bag of crisps, she will be literally right there, like that, looking at you. But she won't take anything. Like, when you're eating food, she will be right in your face and she will not eat anything unless you tell her to. Unless you, you point at it and go daisy. She, she will not have it. So she's really quite... Um, she's well managed. She will not eat without you saying so. She never has done. She was always really, really good. She, you know... We, ha we had a cat called Marmite, and he was actually there before Daisy. We've always had cats before dogs. Daisy is technically our first dog. Um, well, technically, she's our second dog. Um, but I won't get into that. Long story. Uh, but we used to have a cat called Marmite, and he was literally the man of the house. He was the toughest cat I've ever, ever seen. And the cat would be, like, sat on mum's knee, and then the dog would come up, and the cat would just look at Daisy and say... And so the cat was the man of the house. Like Daisy would not do or hurt or anything because I think she was generally terrified of it. Um, but I always walk her at night and she seems to enjoy it. Sometimes she goes for a walk in the mornings because we, again, this is where she comes across as quite a clever dog is she will just stare at you when she wants something. If she wants it, if she's hungry or if she wants to go out or if she wants to go for a walk. Um, she, will, she will just stare at you and if you follow her she will take you to where she wants to go so she goes to the kitchen she's hungry um, or she's thirsty um, and she'll go to the front door when she wants to go out or go for a walk and if you get the harness out and shake it when because when she was little if you shook the harness or said walk she, you know like most dogs she go <gasps> you know and she get excited about it but she doesn't do that anymore but if you shake the harness then she looks at it and gives you the look you you know she wants to to go out she likes she like uh, you like your belly being rubbed don't you a little bit you like that sometimes but she's very much a quiet dog now she doesn't do much but um she's my best friend it's, daisy's a very loving dog even when i was upset if i was ever crying about anything um, she'd come up to you and she'd lick your face. She hates it when people cry and get upset. She knows it and she understands it. And so, despite being a very dumb dog, you're actually very, very smart. Aren't you? But she's very, very loving and she's absolutely the best thing that's ever happened to me. So anyway guys, that wraps up today's video. This is just kind of me talking about my dog. I hope you all enjoyed it. It wasn't really much. I just kind of wanted to do that to celebrate National Dog Day. Goodbye for viewers. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I've been CDED and until next time, I'll see you later.